Yo, what's good? It's Joker, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a nice short little tip that can help you guys win some games. Uh, it's going to be a cover three, or not a cover three, a man beater for three man deep. It's just going to be Hail Mary, the one with the deep post. Make sure you select that one. You're going to want to pick that. Then I'm just going to come out and prevent three man deep. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to run the post to the wide side. So you're going to want the solo side to be by himself on the left like this. So you want to be on the left hash. You want the post to go to the right. Put these three right guys on a slant is what I usually do. You can really do whatever you want as long as this deep safety on the right side gets pulled down. Like you could do this and then like curl him and you just run it like this. As long as that deep safety stays in the middle of the field, this will get open if you pass it to the right. Just like that, boom, it's gonna be a missed pass because regs is horrible. I don't know why it does that. It says accurate and it's just overthrown every time. But you can literally just slant these three guys. If they're in three man deep and they don't use it, this will be open practically every time. You're gonna want a fast receiver that hits the deep route running threshold over there. For some reason in regs, you have to aggressive catch it every time. But in mutt, for example, which is what this is really helpful in, when players aren't the fastest yet, it is really like good. You can rack it all the time for some reason. And regs it just doesn't let you you have to ag it but this works basically every single time against three man deep as you can see i accidentally just snapped the ball there but what you're going to want to do one more time this can help you win games it can help you get easy points before half if your opponent's not paying attention and they just come out in three man deep i've won multiple games off of this i've gotten multiple touchdowns before half off of people just being lazy because the thing is, is you just want to bring their user, which is usually the middle linebacker in the middle of the field. You just want to make him bite down. Like the guy that's going to be in the spy right here, he's going to be usering. So you just want to pull him away and then just throw that. It's going to be open if Mahomes can make a throw. But apparently he can't in practice mode because this mode is horrible. But this is one of the best combos that you can do. Just a nice little slant, curl, and then... I come back on the right side but make sure you slant either the middle the like this guy rb rb is the guy that pulls down the right safety so make sure you slant him i like to put a comeback and then i put a curl i also do this a lot this will guaranteed work it's just the user's more likely to not pick up on a slant than like if they see a deep post going for a touchdown so like that's really important but you got to make sure you roll out too. If you roll out, the throw will go further, like towards the right side of the field. So one more time, just a nice little curl, slant, and then a comeback. You also can double team that right end there so he gets picked up, but you want to roll out, pass lead it straight to the sideline, and that will pretty much be a touchdown every time. Appreciate y'all watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Look forward to more tips coming soon. Appreciate y'all. Peace out.